Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories, Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Honeydew. Oh no, wait, I'm getting in front of myself. <laughs> is Sheila Collins. Sheila is a salon owner, she's an esthetician, and she is a wellness holistic coach and she is just wonderful. So we're going to introduce Sheila. Welcome to the show. Thank you, welcome for having me. Oh, excellent. It's so exciting to have you here. Um, honeydew and Beauty Seeds. I'm gonna start with that. Um, how'd you come up with that name? <laughs> okay, Honeydew is, um, Honeydew is a melon, those sweet fruits were assigned mm -hmm. to the gods. So they were like very sweet and healthy and all things good. So I thought that would be a good name for the business because mm -hmm. we did a lot of skincare. I use a lot of natural products. Mm -hmm. So I think Honeydew is me. So I am Miss Honeydew. Honeydew, yes, okay. okay. That, that's mm -hmm. wonderful, Miss Honeydew. And um, where's the beauty seeds I, you, that's incorporated in your well, website? Well, beauty, beauty seeds is the my thing around beauty is a thing that grows. Most people think of all of our outer beauty. I'm a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. I do skin care. I make people look very pretty on the outside. But the seeds that we plant, what we drop into the earth, determine where our real beauty comes from. Wow. So I thought beauty seeds was such a nice play to bring together the holistic portion of it. And everybody wants to be beautiful. You can't go get away from that. But with the beauty seeds for me represents our inner beauty where the lasting and true beauty starts. So it's at from inside. Mm -hmm. Inside. Wow, sure. really powerful. And your voice is so calming and <laughs> soothing. Is that from the yoga and it meditation? It is from teaching? the yoga. I've been mm -hmm. doing yoga for over 20 years. So when I was doing yoga, I would come out to the main line because there were not uh, yoga studios on every corner like they are now. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of an anomaly. You didn't see a lot of people of color doing yoga. Mm -hmm. People in ashrams did it. Mm -hmm. The Beatles brought it here. Oh, you right, know. Right. So it was like very, what do you you doing is it a religion and it is actually it is a science of health mm -hmm. it is the way that people do yoga is asana really doesn't mean pose it actually means to take a seat so the reason that we do yoga is so that we can be still mm. and connect with ourselves and with mm -hmm. the divine or whatever your belief system is mm -hmm. so no it is not a, a religion mm -hmm. but it's a way to change your life okay. for the better uh -huh. from the inside out from the inside from the out. inside out right well since you're talking about that is there something that we could do together right now that sort of personifies what you do in the studio Oh, absolutely. Would mm -hmm. you like to try a pose? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. So uh, we don't have a desk. So I teach a yoga pose in in, the, in businesses that I go mm -hmm. to for health coaching for corporates to reduce stress. Mm -hmm. So one of the poses that you can do, and it's hard because we both you have I put on shorts and you have on a dress. But mm -hmm. one of the poses I teach. This is the most important pose, and of and the most important to breathe properly. Mm -hmm. This is your first okay. pose. You're only exercising if you're not breathing when you're doing each and every pose, all right? Mm -hmm. If you're in a pose and you find yourself holding your breath back out of the pose, mm -hmm. you're no longer doing yoga. So the first thing I want you to do, Fran, is to sit, uncross your legs, mm -hmm. all right? And I want you to keep your mouth closed because we use our mouth for That's eating, hard. our okay. nose for breathing. <laughs> But in this case, you're going to breathe in. So on the in-breath and inhalation, your stomach should rise. So you would want to take a deep breath in and move your diaphragm because the lung is an organ. Mm -hmm. It doesn't move unless the diaphragm moves. Mm -hmm. So in order to move the diaphragm, you have to really... So it's like when you see a child rest mm -hmm. in the crib, the stomach comes up. It deflates mm. and it's so this is always it's very calming yes. you feel so much better it yes. just settles you down this is the very first pose I teach in every class mm. before you stand up before you do tree pose and warrior and mountain mm. and all the things you hear about right. the first pose is to breathe 
to oxygenate yourself, to make sure you're getting oxygen to your tissues and it's calming. Mm -hmm. We are so used to breathing from in here. A lot of times we work, we're busy, we're mm -hmm. on a conference call, we're checking our emails and we're having lunch. We're not even, a, we're not tasting the food, we're missing the conference <laughs> call, we're not doing nothing. So we got a lot of pots with no lids. Right. So basically, ah. when you go back and you breathe, you say, wait a minute, let me be present in this moment. Let me enjoy my food. Let me listen to what Fran is saying. I was watching your two YouTube videos this morning. Very nice. But that's all I was doing. I wasn't listening to music. I wasn't writing anything. I focused on Fran. I wanted to get a, a way into you. And I gave you 100% of my attention. And that's what the breath does. It brings you back to yourself. So I don't really care if you can do headstand. I'm not impressed. If you can, it's great. Mm -hmm. But I want to know that you're breathing, that you're giving yourself the oxygen that you need. And, it, and it's so calm. You see how we took those three breaths? Right. Whenever I'm anxious, whenever I'm nervous. I was sitting in the car here before <laughs> I came, and I took like three good breaths. I said, breathe. And you, you go in through the nose. You hold it at the top of the breath. I mean, it's like a oxygen massage. Oh, That's what I call I like oxygen. That. Is I it? Like but that. it really feels good, mm -hmm. and it's really good for us. The more oxygen we get, the more alert we get. In the mid-afternoon, when I get that slump, mm -hmm. instead of getting caffeine, I say, you're not breathing. You're Ooh. sitting here. I said, just take five breaths. And all of a sudden, I perk right up. I'm sitting up. I'm like, yes, I needed to breathe. I was oh, not. Because goodness. we get away from it. We right. realize it's on the course that they, the tension sets in. We're wearing our shoulders mm -hmm. as earrings. We're running around. We're meeting deadlines. And then I'm like, oh, shoulders up, back. And then you're like, oh, I feel so much better. And you do that right at your desk. You don't even have to go to the class. You don't have to go to the yoga studio. And not that I'm saying don't go, but when right. you can't get there, this is yoga for the office. You don't have to leave the office. You don't have to get sweaty, but you are doing self-care mm -hmm. and you're taking care of yourself, which is what a lot of us are not doing in this society because we are pushed to produce quantity, not mm -hmm. quality. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I just need this done. Mm -hmm. I need it done, I need it now, and I need other things done now, right? right? <laughs> priority used to be a singular word, priority, and then somebody added priorities. There are no priorities. One. Mm. Do one oh. thing well, and everything else becomes either easier or unnecessary. Ooh, ooh. Think wow. Think about it. Think wow. about it. Very, very powerful. <laughs> take, us, take us back, Sheila. How did you discover this? I mean, this is powerful. I, you were a salon owner. I was a salon initially. owner, but I was Doing on hair. the holistic end, so I never mm -hmm. did hair. I was always into skin care, making potions, coming up with things that make people's skin bright without spending a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And along the way, I was studying about food. I've always been interested in being healthy, being the best version of myself, mm -hmm. you know, being comfortable in my skin. The uh, West Indian people have a saying that she's sitting pretty in her skin. Ooh. And not necessarily you're the most aesthetically beautiful person, mm -hmm. but that you feel so confident, you're so comfortable in the skin that you're in that you're above all the fray. You're above the fray. Mm. So I always was interested in that inner beauty and food and how those people with skin problems always come to people with me that presented such bad skin. I said, well, what makes them different from myself? Mm -hmm. And I wasn't, I wasn't eating a lot of the foods that people use to stuff themselves with to not have to deal with other issues that they have. Mm -hmm. So, because it's so much easier to say, look at me, I'm really heavy, and say, instead of saying, look at me, I'm in a lot of pain. I was really hurt once, mm -hmm. and I, I don't want to do that. So mm -hmm. if you focus on the fact that I have this food I'm eating, I can eat a lot of junk, I don't have to deal with the real issue. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got into the yoga and the meditation to help people find a place in and then to sit pretty in their skin. Oh, and to be wow. healthy from the inside out. And it just kind of took over. It married, it was a marriage of the holistic skincare with holistic wellness and health care. And I'm just a born person that wants to know. So I went from 
esthetician to massage therapist mm -hmm. to wellness coach to yoga teacher to meditation to plant-based chef like I just keep taking a course Ooh. I would probably be, have a lot of money if I didn't take so many classes. <laughs> well you're investing but in no, yourself and you're yeah. loving it right? And it's a right. lot and you must invest in mm -hmm. yourself to be mm -hmm. successful mm -hmm. no if ands or buts right mm -hmm. and also there's a lot of currency there's not just the green and white and the coins mm -hmm. my currency is being able to help people have flexibility in my life mm -hmm. and really draw out a nice life for myself mm -hmm. and I'm very blessed I mean when the 25 years ago I said to my mom I'm going to like quit my job and <laughs> open up a nail salon and do facials and my family laughed like mm -hmm. you kidding me like we're worker bees we go to mm -hmm. work we get a job we get you know <laughs> you don't think about doing something like that so mm -hmm. I stepped out on faith and you do need that to be an entrepreneur you have that to not so think true. good thoughts you have to believe good thoughts mm -hmm. you have to even kick it up a notch because mm -hmm. you can change your mind but your beliefs are very strong what you believe about yourself is really going to come true absolutely yeah. Sheila, where can folks find Honeydew? Okay, so I am physically located at 2116 Walnut Street by appointment. I have a practice there. You can reach me there. Um, my phone number is on my website, honeydewbeauty.com. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, of course, Honeydew Beauty. And I am on Instagram. I do a lot of posting about health and wellness on my Instagram account. It is. Um, underscore beauty seeds or honeydew beauty so they both have the same information mm -hmm. pretty much mm -hmm. so that's where you can find me and you can always reach me by phone if you call me I will call you back if you have a question I'll be oh, back to you for sure wow. yeah what's in the future for you you mentioned plant-based chef um, I'm wondering retreats what, what will you do next so what I would love to do is level my business up so mm -hmm. lots of people get a little part of this honeydew mm -hmm. so instead of trying to be local mm -hmm. what I would like to do is do retreats have people take them away do classes on plant-based mm -hmm. meals that are healthy but very tasty I'm a pretty good chef mm -hmm. and just teaching people to be healthy in the most beautiful and exotic environments that I can find Ooh. and the most beautiful environments have to start within Mm -hmm. So no matter where I take you, if we're not doing the inner work, it's not going to matter how beautiful the island or the location mm -hmm. is. So we start with the inner work and then we take those exotic trips. That is beautiful. Thank Absolutely you. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Sheila, it's been a pleasure just talking with you. I do feel calm. Thank and, you. and the power <laughs> of breathing that, that it's, it's just right here. It's right inside. So you got your first yeah. yoga pose with me and yeah. the most important one. If you never do another mm -hmm. one, that mm -hmm. one will carry you forever. Mm -hmm. Thank totally you. Cool. And it has been my great pleasure to be here. It was really something I was looking forward to, honestly. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, you know, there's more to come. I'm, I'm getting cues that we actually have two more minutes. Oh, so, great, great. Um, you said that you post regularly on Instagram. I do, What I are do. some of the tips that you share? And that might be helpful for people to know about as they're watching today. Okay, so one of the tips that I tell people every day to take a moment for gratitude Whatever you think about, whatever you spend your time holding close to you expands. So I ask the people that follow me every day, I know you can do five things that you're grateful for. I don't okay. care where you're at in your life. The, the gratitude piece is amazing. You will see things unfold that you just, and no doing. It's, it's a grace, a grace mm -hmm. thing. So mm -hmm. I ask everyone to list five things in the morning after you sit still before you get any excitements like coffee or, you know, tea. <laughs> oh, okay. Stimulants. Yeah, stimulants. <laughs> take a moment. Take a mm -hmm. moment and just be thankful. You know, if you're saying, I'm thank you for my dad who's here to help me, who got me to this point where I am today, right. for them, nourishing me in a wonderful environment, a daughter that has just given me so much to be happy about. Mm -hmm. I always find five things every single day. And the reason why I said keep it to five so you don't go on, just make it succinct. 
So mm. I had five things a day. And you can use something like your dad will probably come up every day or your mom. It's mm -hmm. some things that are going to be consistent, but some right. beautiful sunset you may see or just a ride on the river. It's wow. just so many things we have to be grateful about. You know, I give people tips on the ego. You don't want it as a master, but a perfect servant, mm -hmm. always to be humble. So I give a lot of inner advice. So. Excellent, excellent. Sheila, this is wonderful. Thank you. The advice, the sharing, the caring, the gratitude, and your presence. Thank, Thank you so you. much for That's being really on the show today. That's really what it's about for me, Fran. Good. And thanks for having me. I enjoyed you as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Would namaste be appropriate? Namaste. <laughs> namaste. <laughs> namaste. Significant TV, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. Thank you.